everyone. This is Brian Cook. This is Yon Mi Santana. And I am Eduardo Vargas. And this is our power transmission design. Brian Cook will introduce you to the project. The primary criteria for this system included the, ability, the need to transmit 5 horsepower. The input RPM was, was 1,290 with an output RPM of 90 RPMs. This is a velocity ratio of 14. Other critical parameters for this system involve inline out input and output shafts with the input and output shafts having opposite rotational directions. In addition to that, the transmission must be used for precision applications, endure light, light shocks, operating room temperatures, and also with cost not being a critical parameter, but something that always should be examined. For this type of transmission is good for any application in which an output of a low RPM but high torque amount is desired. Real life applications of such systems would be winch transmissions, utility buggies such as this gator on my right hand side, as well as small cranes used in shipping industry. Our literature survey began with Shigley's 9th edition mechanical design book. In this book, Agma criteria and general gear train design was studied. Once this design has been studied, we moved on to the Boston Gear Catalog to select our gears. In conjunction with this catalog, we used Google search to see possible gear train setups that would satisfy the given conditions. Now I'll pass the presentation on to Eduardo, who will explain our design. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, when we first began this project, this was our initial design. Uh, right here is the input shaft, and here is the output shaft. As you can see, there's uh, three gear stages and six gears. Uh, the main reason we did not use this, uh, this gear setup was because uh, our input shaft and our output shaft were going to be uh, off by one inch. And uh, the main reason was because this ratio of four to one for the first stage was uh, very challenging to find in the Boston Gear Catalog. Hence, we went with our final design, which is the one on the screen up right now. As you can see, it has uh, several differences from the first design. Uh, the main one being that this one has 10 gears, 6 shafts, and 5 uh, gear sets. Uh, as you can see, the input shaft and the output shaft are aligned. And if you also take a close look, you'll see that all the gear ratios uh, give a 14 to 1 reduction ratio of the velocity. Um, for the structural design, we, uh, since it was a complex project, we divided it into three main parts. First one being gear design, then shaft design, and then bearing design. For gear design, we uh, started, started with the Boston Gear Catalog to select our gears. Then we applied the Agma procedures to verify that our selections were valid and proper. Then we, uh, we moved on to shaft design and we used the modified Goodman theory. And uh, from there, we uh, got a factor of safety greater than one for all our shafts, which meant our shafts were safe to use for the design. And from then, we went to the Boston Gear Catalog once again to select our bearings that uh, would all work under the required loads. Uh, now I'll pass it over to my partner, Yul Meter, who will conclude this uh, presentation. Thank you, Eduardo. Um, after many iterations and uh, a lot of time, we, just, we stuck with the final uh, design of the gear. This is um, the whole system, enclosed and in its um, cover. Uh, here's the system uh, with partial cover off, so you can see the inner works. As you can see, it remains uh, the same geometry as the uh, uh, as the sketch shown by, uh, previously shown by my Eduardo, uh, with the input with the input gear here and the output shaft here. Uh, this uh, back quarter view of the system, the everything on, which is this output uh, system with the one-to-one -one gear ratio, is the input. This is an animation of how the whole system will work. Um, again, this is the input, as you can see, higher RPMs, and the output, which is barely um, turning at this uh, RPM ratio. So of course, the renal system will work at higher RPMs, but this is just so you have an idea of how the whole uh, system is integrated and works. Um, Okay, even though cost uh, wasn't a big issue for, for us, it always is, so we um, took into consideration how to, uh, ways to keep out, uh, down the cost. Um, the main ways we did that was by uh, selecting most of our, of our pieces out of stock, um, out 
uh, stock on over the shelf on pieces, meaning that the bolt bearings, um, the gears, um, the shaft, or all or all are over the shelf uh, pieces. Uh, the gears again being the simplest one, uh, bolt bearings, uh, low maintenance. Also, the, the only custom part we have on the system is basically the enclosed um, uh, part. But we decided that since uh, in order to improve on. Um, Flexibility of the system in which the in which it could be used. Uh, it was better to do a tight fitted uh, design you saw before. Also, um, by having a completely enclosed system, custom made, we would uh, keep the whole system isolated from other elements, uh, improving the life uh, of, of the system um, and so forth. Um, as mentioned again, uh, uh, the the the, the unit is enclosed here, so. Mainly the, the, the maintenance will be wear on the gears. Out of that, it will be basically maintenance free. And as a conclusion, uh, as you have been able to, to see, um, our team was able to, um, through, through a selection, through a, a gear selection process mentioned before, and the shaft design process, um, bearing selection, and last, um, the case creation and general assembly, we were able to create a package which fulfill all the requirements uh, stated in the, in the assignment. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching.